Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Luke Hillian, and I am an undergraduate history student at Columbia University, and I am also a co-organizer co of this uh, conference. It is now noon, and so I have the pleasure to announce one of the highlights of today, which is the heritage lunch provided by Chef Damien De Silva, and as And uh, as a Southeast Asian culinary expert, Chef De Silva has gained uh, international exposure for his expertise on Chinese, Malay, Indian, Eurasian, and Peranakan foods that combine to make the Singaporean cuisine. Uh, today, Chef De Silva owns Rampapa Restaurant, which, as you may guess, serves Singapore heritage dishes. So um, please enjoy your lunch. Uh, please enjoy the uh, pastries that happen to be low carbohydrates uh, provided by Upgrade and after uh, Chef De Silva gives his brief remarks uh, those with the little green vouchers please come forwards to collect uh, your lunch so the floor is yours uh, Chef De Silva thank you, very much. Thank you. okay I'm gonna feed you <laughs> don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing but we'll find out um, so, you know, I think it's very interesting, well, it's more than interesting, what we ate in the past. A lot of people actually don't realize, right? But there was a lot of seafood, whether it was fresh, whether it was dried, whether it was preserved. And there was a lot of foraging, okay? So I grew up foraging for both my grandfather and my grandmother, paternal and maternal. It's slave labor, very cheap. Um, <laughs> So that's what you're going to have today. Unfortunately, in today's you know, context, it's very difficult to forage anything because everything's gone, right? We've developed. It's true. Everything's gone. So most of the herbs that I purchased came from either Malaysia or Indonesia. And you know what's wonderful about these herbs? They actually have health benefits. There is barami, which is actually which actually cleanses your blood. And this is true, it does. Um, there are a lot of things out there that not many people know of. There is also an ulam that we've done, which is, has got ulam raja. It's got a lot of different herbs, and that has got different properties as well. So this is what I believe we ate in the past, right? Um, this is from granddad, more from granddad than grandma. Granddad was more of a food, I won't call him an historian, but he was more familiar with food and he is the one that actually taught me all these things and here I am today understanding Chinese, Malay, Indian, Peranakan and Eurasian. So please, you've got, um, you've got three dishes there. You've got nasi ulam, you've got sayo brimi, and you've got pengaga. Pengaga is your penny word. Okay, and that's Eurasian. It's, the dish is called rabese. Nobody knows. It's okay. Just enjoy it. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Enjoy your lunch.